friends um, in this video i am trying to explain the things related to the mx roads a uh, few basics uh, and then horizontal alignment also i am going to discuss um, what to say so few basics like micro system settings uh, that will be helpful while designing while designing horizontal or vertical whatever it may be very simple tricks okay so um, coming to that uh, um, mx roads having inbuilt micro station settings so it's a uh, micro station is nothing but uh, autocad type from the mx bentley bentley okay you can do the drafting work okay for that purpose the normally few companies will use micro station so that is he here they given directly in file this is cad menu if you open this cad menu all the interface is related to the micro station so few settings are required while designing the horizontal or vertical so that is nothing but xref type so here i am detaching i'll show from start then xref just a simple xref normally in autocad you will just type xr like that so like this only uh, here xref that's it so now you attached a existing carriage with details so the basic step in any road uh, design is nothing but uh, horizontal design horizontal design you won't do uh, what to say uh, new center line like that normally the projects are like uh, eccentric widening or concentric widening type you have to follow existing alignment as much as possible if suppose uh, some what to say is uh, uh, some type of deficiencies deficiencies in term in, cur in curves substandard geometry yes yes substandard geometry there you can't achieve the desired speed there you have to provide a bypass okay some realignment so the basic necessity of highway design is that topo survey topo survey uh, is nothing but collecting the existing road details existing road details is on every details and with a particular interval they will establish some benchmarks and then they will collect the data various types of surveys are there um, instruments lidar now recently uh, and then normal topography total station so this is our existing carriageway details uh, i just added here from xref and then now uh, what to say uh, you, you want to follow one line like uh, carriageway heads or center line okay so you want to display that only so normally in autocad what you will do you will just select it and lay iso so but here here see this one level manager uh, i just click here right click here global display see all are going carriage okay, edge line only i want okay mbl and mbr that's those median bottom and median left sorry mm, that's it that's it guys like that you can see like then you can display it this is a uh, settings from the uh, micro station here also you can just click here automatically okay yeah. that's it so now we will go to the horizontal design just mx menu here uh, there are two uh, options are there basically in highway design uh, consultancy will prefer it uh, one is alignment method and quick alignment method uh, i am going to explain some basics regarding this okay before this before we starting the horizontal alignment so these two methods are uh, uh, different type uh, 
normally alignment method will normally if you one minute okay okay i just simply here two methods uh, normally alignment method will get uh, will prefer for the hill roads hill roads and some trumpet design trumpet design if you are giving some reverse car okay to say uh, uh, without transition okay for that uh, scenarios uh, alignment method will prefer it uh, normal for four lane roads will simply on plain and rolling terrain will prefer the quick alignment okay uh, as of uh, for me i am more uh, what to say uh, more experience uh, in uh, quick alignment quick alignment till now i dealt with a uh, uh, normal plain and rolling ter uh, areas terrain related roads okay so i am going to do this one just click here quick alignment horizontal design just give design new okay and then just model does not exist so create yes and then road center lines i am going to do so it can give the name master string name mc l0 if it is left if it is right mcr0 or else is simply mc00 that's it as per your convenience just give next that quick alignment what to say layout will come Ah, this is the thing. So I am. I will try to explain as much as I know. Here, basic parameters defined by length, transition length, and default radius. If if you want, you can give it. Uh, my suggestion: keep it this as as it is. There you can change it directly, and then some uh, what to say changes uh, for tip file. basic tip files okay and then show car details if you keep uh, ip then it will get to know and then if you want reverse alignment after designing if you want reverse it so you can do this so first we'll start here add ip intersection point so starting okay that's it now here next here see wherever deviation angle normally it's a visual observation see now and then here if you want to keep in a particular point you can click control see okay now i'm just doing randomly uh, later i will Uh, modify the alignment okay that's it guys now we'll start the modification means we have to follow the existing center line or existing median edge if it is four lane if it is two lane we have to follow the existing this uh, simple center line based on the proposal if it is concentric widening we'll simply how to say existing center line eccentric widening you have to do some offset and then we can have to modify our center line okay so just go here and then this is bearing side on bearing see just click on right side so normally that the right tangent will get now from left yeah click on the left button that's it now you have you can adjust the radius see we'll try see now it's came so now we can have to give the transition as per standards as per irc 115 for 400 meters so now that's it now this is almost okay close now here i am going to do bearing a 
adjustment is first and then radius and then radius and now return it is somewhat flat per standard you just check it uh, okay now close and then here here just go here here sorry like this guys just simply and then close so you just simply uh, uh, play with the bearing and the radius that's it now if you want to add IP you can insert it in between okay if you want to remove you can remove it and then if you want to some clearance so this is very important while designing the what to say eccentric widening portions so you can create a clearance circle so from here you want some clearance so you just click on the left one left one. just click and move it hold hold for and then here it will show you radius 27 meter like that so based on this circles you will get idea of uh, not to say uh, where to move our design center line so this clearance circle is very important okay and then close then you can adjust our uh, our design center line so this option over then over and then this i also don't know and then curve side and bearing after that move ip you can move it if you want adjust it and then insert ip i told construction tools not required add IP if you want to continue your alignment and then coming to the reverse alignment you can reverse it uh, what to date to next annotation not required now that's it guys in the horizontal alignment the main basic thing you need the what to say existing road details and then just simply uh, add uh, intersection points and uh, uh, play with uh, bearing and radius bearing and radius that's it i hope uh, you understood the basic concept in a horizontal design okay thanks for watching guys okay no no wait wait sorry okay alignment start i can give a chain is if you want to start 150 okay then interval you can give simply done now design new is our center right see chain is 150 and then that geometry st strings see that radius 400 lab all things will come so this is the basic concept of horizontal design i hope you like this video please guys subscribe